Do you lack the endurance to maintain your goal pace or distance? Are you unable to maintain the tempo and turnover needed to swim faster? Watch to learn the three most important dry land resistance training exercises for swimmers, how to perform them, and why doing them can increase your efficiency, endurance, and speed. I'm Coach Dan Daly, a certified strength and conditioning specialist and competitive swimmer helping youth, masters, triathlete, and open water swimmers train smarter through strength and conditioning. Swimming is an interesting sport in that it's cardio dominant, but full body effort, and the resistance of the water imposes an element of resistance requiring a good amount of strength and force. Not to mention the sprinting, which absolutely requires the engagement of your fast twitch muscle fibers. That's why it's so important to incorporate a supplemental dryland strength program into your routine, just 30 to 60 minutes, two to three times a week. And if you're pressed for time or overwhelmed by all the things you should be doing to perform your best, here are three important evidence-based movements to improve your strength in the gym using the muscles you need to swim more efficient, longer, and faster. Swimmers, and most exercises for that matter, would be best suited focusing on a full body strength routine, focused on compound, multi-joint, multi-muscle movement patterns. A common circuit or superset grouping should include a lower body exercise, a pull, and a push. For lower body, squats are a functional resistance exercise, incorporating the larger muscles of the lower body like the glutes, quads, and hamstrings. Squatting through a full range of motion is also an excellent way to improve your mobility, actively stretching and contracting the muscles around your hips, knees, and ankles. Olympic lifters are often recognized as some of the most mobile athletes in all of sport, with the lowest incidence of injury, squatting through a full range of motion at impressive loads. For swimmers, having a strong lower body improves start distance and reaction time, as well as your turns at the wall, essentially a horizontal squat and kicking propulsion. Swimmers with the highest vertical jump, an explosive squat pattern, jump further and faster off the blocks and walls and have the best kicking and freestyle swimming speeds. The goblet squat is just one example and a great starting place for many swimmers. Holding a dumbbell or kettlebell tight by your chest wrist straight and vertical above tucked elbows, stand with your feet shoulder width apart and turn slightly out. With an inhale, sit back and down, keeping your feet flat and your spine long, descending until your elbows touch your thighs. Return to standing by pushing the floor away, exhaling and standing up tall. Repeat for two to five sets of eight to 15 repetitions, taking two to four minutes rest in between sets. Alternate and progressively increase the amount of sets, reps and load you can do over time with the goal of working your way through the dumbbell or kettlebell weights or reaching a standard of 50% of your body weight for 25 repetitions. Pull-ups are arguably the most specific exercise for improving upper body pulling power in the water. It's the best exercise for improving overhead pulling strength, developing the lats and the biceps using shoulder extension and elbow flexion, similar to the pulling phases of the four competitive strokes. Swimmers with the strongest pull-ups are able to sustain submaximal speed and velocity for longer periods in the water. Whether you're just starting out with pull-ups or you can do several, there are a variety of loading options to meet your ability. Band assisted, body weight, or weighted pull-up options are all viable and scalable variations for any ability. Swimmers who cannot compete one body weight pull-up can start working towards one using band or machine assistance, and swimmers who can complete 10 or more full range of motion pull-ups could consider loading these exercises with additional weight. Whether you're using assistance or resistance, begin with a full hang under the bar with a tight grip, arms long, head in between your arms a neutral or palms facing grip or a supinated underhand grip with your palms facing you is often the strongest option to start with. Mix up your grip every month or two to continue to challenge yourself and recruit muscles in a different pattern. With an inhale, begin pulling by thinking about pulling your shoulder blades down and into your back pockets, elbows into your sides and the bar to your chest. Pull yourself to the bar until your chin clears the top or your chest touches. Exhale as you complete this rep, then lower yourself down with control to a full hang. Maintain a strong, rigid body throughout, actively pointing your legs straight forward or bending and curling your knees back. Choose an assistance or resistance that allows you to complete two to three sets of eight to 15 repetitions with two to four minutes rest between. Alternate and progressively do more sets, reps, or load over time. It's important too to make the distinction between pull-ups and a complementary vertical pulling pattern like lat pulldowns. Both train similar joint actions and muscle groups, but the closed chain body weight nature of the pull-up is most specific to improving your ability to pull your body through the water and should be focused on first. Push-ups are a complementary pushing exercise, also targeting the shoulder and elbows, but focusing on the opposing pecs and triceps. 
They also require a tremendous amount of core stability, essentially a dynamic plank, important for holding streamline and alignment in the water. Swimmers with the strongest push-ups have stronger overhead position, faster hand speed, and a more propulsive pushing phase, all translating into faster maximum and sustained swimming speeds for short and long distances. Not to mention the muscular balance benefits of optimal shoulder mobility for injury reduction. Push-ups are a really accessible exercise that can be performed anywhere. They're easily scalable for all levels by either adding assistance with bands or changes in elevation, or increasing intensity with bands or external load for those that are stronger. Swimmers just starting out can aim for completing their first full length, full range of motion push up, and those who can do 10 or more can begin considering adding external load for a more challenging variation. Whether you're using band assistance or an elevated starting position or beginning from the floor, start in a long high plank. Hands under your shoulders, spines long from the back of your head to your heels, core tight like you're holding a plank, and long taut legs. Inhale as you descend with control to or just above the floor. Exhale, maintain a tight body line and push the floor away until your elbows are straight. Complete two to four sets of eight to 15 repetitions with a full range of motion and tight core, taking two to four minutes rest between efforts and alternate and progressively do more sets and reps or load over time. Perform these three exercises as a circuit or superset two to three times a week for two to four sets of eight to 15 repetitions. Focus on form first and progressively challenge yourself week to week. You can expect to have a little muscle soreness and fatigue one to two days after a new program, lasting two to four days, but as you progress, you will notice greater energy, strength, and performance in the water. None of these movements should be painful or a solution to pre-existing medical conditions. Connect with your doctor or medical professional specializing in athletes to help you find the best plan for your limitations. If you're looking to get faster in the water and have not been focusing on these big patterns, begin working on them now. Be consistent and the results and adaptations will come with time. If this was helpful, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and let me know how your training is going in the comments. Keep swimming strong and thank you.